and state. Chief Meteorologist Vince Condella and Tim Van Voren Sports. Because your news team matters. A bizarre story out of Mequon. A man dies after being stung by a bee, or maybe it was a wasp. Yeah, here's the weird part. This was not the first time he'd been stung. He was fine the other time. But as our Brett McGansky discovered today, sometimes it's the second sting. It's the one that kills. It's really pretty rare that a person would have a, a reaction to this, and even rare yet to have a fatality from it. He was outside his Mequon home Monday, stung by a bee or wasp, then almost immediately went into shock. The reaction can proceed fairly quickly, and within just a matter of minutes, you could uh, have uh, the, uh, the uh, drop in the blood pressure and uh, Choking. His neighbor, who was a doctor, rushed over to save him, but was unsuccessful. The Ozaukee County coroner said 46-year-old Vladimir Novak died as a result of anaphylactic shock from a sting. He said the 46-year-old had been stung in the past. You could have a, just a feel that your skin was pricked by a bramble or some other uh, plant. Allergist Dr. Walter Brumman from Allergy and Asthma Centers in Milwaukee said even a person with a severe bee allergy could get stung once and not feel any side effects. But the second time you get stung could be fatal because the antibodies in your system build up over time. The best thing is to get tested and then uh, that will tell you if you have the significant allergic reactivity. Brumman said only about 100 people in the U.S. die every year from stings. But as uncommon as these occurrences are, 46-year-old Novak's case proves it's something not to be taken lightly. And Novak's family is devastated by his untimely death. They told me the world lost a wonderful man, husband, and father. His funeral is tomorrow in Mequon. Brett. Brett, thank you. The Centers for Disease Control is working to determine if two deaths in our area are from West Nile virus. A 78-year-old woman in Greenfield was exhibiting signs of West Nile before she died. And in Waukesha County, a nurse with the Department of Health and Human Services says a person in their 70s with a probable case of West Nile died back in August. People who are more likely to become seriously ill are people age 50 and older or people with um, conditions that compromise their immune system. The State Department of Public Health says there are 12 probable cases of West Nile statewide along with one confirmed case. If you're hoping to mobilize